Hey Dappers, creation of member facing membership pages was never this easy. You can now create mobile responsive and elegant member facing pages literally in seconds. I am referring to pages like member content, member profile, affiliate stats, member purchases and invoice, and member facing cancellation page. Hi, my name is Veena Prashant. I am the co founder and co developer of digitalaccesspass.com. And I'm super thrilled to announce the beta release of DAP version 5.0.2 and LiveLinks version 2.0.2. Now this release is packed with some amazing new features and I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show you everything. So be sure to watch the full video so you can take advantage of this value packed release. If you visit your WordPress admin pages, add a new page or edit any existing page, you will notice that there are four new buttons. The DAP My Profile, Affiliate Info, Member Invoice, and Member Cancel. These are all new. The DAP My Content we had it before, except it had a different name. We have just renamed it, just so it's consistent with all the other names we have used for the new buttons. Now the purpose of all of these buttons is to provide you with an easy way to generate your member facing pages. Whether it's the profile page, my content page, a page that lists users affiliate link and affiliate stats, a page that lists all the transactions as well as allows the user to view their invoice or a member facing cancellation page. Now all of this you can very easily create now with just a click of a button. There are a few parameters on each one of them. For example, if you select this, you will notice all of these options. So all you have to do is if you want the default, just go ahead and say generate and if you want to change anything you can update these parameters and say generate and that's it you can just save the page and you're done so it's that easy so you don't have to copy paste from another document or anywhere else or figure out what fields anymore because these buttons are going to make it really easy now this is just one of the updates that we have made uh, which is to provide you with an easy way to generate the short code in addition, uh, I will go over all the other changes that we have made uh, for each one of these pages. Now let me show you a few different ways in which you can organize your member facing pages. Now what I have done here is this is a test site. When my users log in, I send them to the my account page. Now my account page is a parent page and when they land on this page, they are going to find all the links that they might need. So there is the my content, which is nothing but the downloads page my profile, affiliate link, uh, purchases invoice and order cancellation. Now all of these are just hyperlinks and when they click on any of this, it's going to take them to the individual page that provides them the details. So for example, if they click on the my content, then it's going to lead them to a my content page and I have created that page simply by using this short code. So I clicked on it and I got the short code from this and I saved it as my content and made it a sub page under the my account page. So when they visit this page, they will find all the details in terms of the products they have purchased and all the links that belong to that product. Similarly, my profile. So I created a page called my profile and I made that a sub page under the my account page. And when the visitors visit that page or the members visit that page, they're going to find their member profile information on that page. I created that page simply by using the DAP My Profile shortcode. I clicked on it and uh, I generated the shortcode and that's all that page has. So that's what I have done for each one of these pages. Each one points to a separate WordPress page and I have created that word. I created that WordPress page using these shortcode generators. Now here's another quick example of how you can organize these pages. You will see here that we have my account in the menu and we have all of these sub pages under my account. So the members can get to these pages just by clicking on these links right here. And each one of these pages were created using the DAP shortcode. And also when they land on the my account page, they will also find all the links right here. And we have also listed the links in the sidebar. So this is another way of organizing each one of these individual pages. So here's a brief summary of the changes we have made in this release. We have added or updated these five shortcodes. 
So we actually have an existing version of each one of these shortcodes, but the problem with these shortcodes, especially these four, is that one, they are not mobile responsive. Two, they are not very good to look at. They're not very elegant and pretty outdated. So it was time for us to update the look and feel. And three, we didn't have an easy way to generate these shortcodes. So it wasn't like one click away. So now you can literally click on this button and generate a profile page in seconds. So it was not that easy earlier. So these are the main changes we have made and I'm going to now show you exactly how these pages look. So you can appreciate all the work that has gone into this release. Now let's start with the DAP My Profile shortcode and the changes that we have made to this shortcode in this release. So currently, if you want to create a member profile page, then you copy something like this from our documentation onto a WordPress page and that's how you create your user profile page. Now there is no way to automatically generate the shortcode using a button like this because we didn't have that option before. And also there is no way to say I want to show a custom field X or a custom field Y but I don't want to show the other custom fields. So currently the only thing you can do is you can show all of your custom fields or show none of them. So if you set it to no, none of the custom fields will show in the member profile page. If you set it to yes, everything will show. So there is no way to select what fields you want to show. So all of that we have addressed in this release. When you create a user profile page currently with the shortcode, this is how it's going to look. So this is not mobile responsive and it does not look very good. So this is how it looks currently. So now let me show you how it looks in the new version. So this is the new version of the My Profile page. We have separated things into different sections so they are easier to understand. And also, if you don't want to show certain sections, so for example, if you don't want to allow them to update billing info or update additional info or um, remove certain fields within a section. So for example, if you don't want to show these fields, but want to show the rest of the fields, you will be able to do that in the shortcode editor. So when you visit the DAP My Profile editor, you can turn off sections or turn off individual fields here. And you can do the same for custom fields. So here you can see that these two fields are custom fields. So you can decide what fields you want to show. If you want to show all the fields, you can do that. If you want to select some fields but not show all the fields, you can do that as well. Moving on, let's take a look at the DAP Affiliate Info shortcode. So if you use the DAP's built-in affiliate management system and you want to create a page for your affiliates where they can find their affiliate link, where they can find their stats, then the way to do that today is to create a WordPress page and use this merge tag on that page. We don't have a shortcode currently, but you can use this merge tag and when you save this page and visit it, you are going to see something like this. So your affiliates are going to find their details on this page, affiliate link, payment stats, earning details, all of that information they're going to find on this page. The problem is this page is not mobile responsive, the layout is not so good, and it looks pretty messy on some themes. So to fix this, what we have done is we have created a shortcode generator first. So all you have to do is just click on this and it will give you the shortcode right there. Now, right now, it doesn't have any other parameters, which is why as soon as you click on it, it's going to give you the shortcode right there. But as we introduce more customization options, we might add a shortcode editor. So when you click on it, it will open up an editor where you can configure those fields. It's not required right now. So this is all you need. And when you update this page, so this is the new affiliate link and stats page. It is fully mobile responsive. And as you can see, it just looks much more clean, much more elegant. Now let's take a look at the DAP member invoice shortcode. Now we have an existing version of this shortcode, but it's not easy to use. We have had issues with it and it's not mobile responsive. We also don't have an easy shortcode generator like we have now. So if you want to create a page for your members where they can log in and find a list of all their transactions and also be able to view their invoice and print it, then it's very easy to do so in this new release. 
Now, when they click on the view PDF link, it's going to bring up the PDF for their invoice that looks something like this. Now, it depends on the template you select, but if you have selected, say for example, there are two templates. If you select template one, then it's going to look something like this. You can switch to template two and see how it looks and you can go with it if that's what you like. But the idea is that they can click on the view PDF and view their invoice PDF for each one of their transactions. And it's very really easy to do that in this new release. So all you have to do is visit your WordPress admin pages, add a new page, and then you can click on DAP member invoice. The page template, we just have one right now, and this is the page template. So you can just select that. And then you can select an invoice template, one or two. You can enter your admin email, company name, URL information. It's going to show up right here and the logo image, the image that you see here, you can enter the full URL of your logo image here, or you can browse it and uh, that's it. Generate the short code and it's going to be something like this. So it just takes seconds to create and you will have a great looking invoice page in no time. Now let's take a look at the DAP member cancel short code. If you want to create a member facing cancellation page, so your members can self cancel their subscription. It's very easy to do that in this release. All you have to do is click on the DAP member cancel button and it's going to bring up a page like this. The cancel button is only going to show up if it's a subscription product. And if your users have an active subscription that was created using the DAP shopping cart integrated with Stripe, PayPal or authorized.net, or if you have just a regular PayPal button and that's how they have paid and purchased the subscription. So in both cases, it's going to show up. If you're using an external shopping cart, for example, if you're using Infusionsoft, then the cancel button is not going to show. But what you can do is for transactions for which the cancel button does not show, you can actually enter a text that's going to show up in place of the cancel button. So you can say, contact us. So instead of cancel, it's going to say contact us and you can link that contact us text to whatever page you want on your site. So for example, if your contact us page is here, then you can enter that URL. So this way your users will know how to reach you if they want to initiate a cancellation. So when you visit the member cancel page, it's going to look something like this. And here I have three different types of transactions and I have done this on purpose to show you all the three options. So here platinum membership is a subscription product. So this is something that can be canceled because it's a subscription product. The user has an active subscription and it was created using Stripe. So when they click on the cancel button, they can complete the cancellation. After they complete the cancellation, the page will reload and the status will change to canceled. Now here there is another subscription and I have already canceled it, which is why it says canceled. Now contact us. Now the reason this is showing here is because this is not a cancelable transaction. This is a one-time product. The cancel button is only going to show up for subscription products. So for all the other products, if you want to show a contact us and link it, to the contact us page on your site, you can do that in the editor as I had shown you a little bit earlier. So you will have all these options and you can decide what option you want. If you don't want to show them a contact us, if you don't want to show the cancel uh, column at all, you can do that in the editor. Now the DAP My Content Shortcode, we had released this a while ago. It's already mobile responsive. We have made some minor updates to this shortcode in this release. It's really easy to use. You just click on it, select the options, say OK, and then you can come back and customize it if you have to. Otherwise, just select the default options and that's it. You have a My Content page. Now, let me show you a real example from my own website, how I'm using it. Now, this is Optimize Press theme. I'm using DAP and Optimize Press as the theme. You can see here my links. So I have my content, my profile, view purchases, all organized under my account. These are sub pages under my account and all the affiliate stuff is here. Now let me show you how the my content page looks. Now I created the my content page using the DAP my content shortcode. And this is what it gives me automatically. 
So it gives the users a list of all the products that they have purchased from you. It will show them the, the product image, the product name, the access dates and description, and a list of all the content that belongs to that product. So the PDF, so whatever you have here, it's going to show up on that page. So everything the user has purchased, they will have all of that information here along with the links so they can access all of their purchases on this page. So that's it. We have tried to make it much easier to use. I hope you like all the new updates and really look forward to your feedback. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.